Deadline day deals are afoot. You're not seeing double. We've got two <laughs> wonderful analysts in to analyze <laughs> the news that <laughs> Kalo Navas. That was smooth, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it was. I don't know if it any longer is. Uh, Kalo Navas has gone to PSG from Real Madrid. Mm. Sick of being back up. Five years ended at the Bernabeu. And uh, Alphonse Ariola has gone the other way on loan for Real Madrid to take this season. Mm. So uh, they lose a backup, but they've got one. Kalo Navas goes to be first choice. Yeah, and I think PSG is looking at it from the perspective of Alphonse Areola was supposed to be the guy and really did not become the guy. And they needed to make a change. Kaylor now is, I don't know if he wanted a change originally, but uh, it got to the point to where he's probably asking himself, what else could I have done for this club? What else could I have possibly proved to anybody that I should be the number one goalkeeper? But the moment that Thibaut Courtois walks into that locker room, he knows that his days are coming to an end because that was a big investment. And so I do think that Keylor Navas was underappreciated at Real Madrid, that people just kind of look past some of the things that he did for this club and how successful he was. And I think he just goes and takes that game to PSG and probably going to be successful at PSG. This is perfect for both. Yeah. You know, PSG need a better keeper. And they've got one. They've got a guy who, without doubt, was a huge part of Real Madrid's triple Champions League wins um, and Real Madrid have got rid of a, a possible problem in the dressing room because when you have a player as good as him and he's not playing as good a professional as he may be eventually that slips you know it's tough to keep that that facade up of trying to be the good guy in the locker room and the good teammate because whilst you're doing that your career's slipping away. You only get a certain amount of time to play at the highest level. So this is absolutely perfect for both Real Madrid and PSG. Do you think he was a victim of bad transfer policy from Real Madrid in the fact that they brought in Courtois and they made no bones about wanting to do that? They were after De Gea for a long time and he was left twiddling his thumbs thinking, what, to your point, what, what can I do for this team? Starting three Champions League finals in which they won them all. But the flirtation with David De Gea has been going on for years. Remember the, the whole thing where they had agreed upon a deal and then they couldn't get the paperwork in in time and so therefore that didn't work anymore and so David De Gea had to stay at Manchester and all the while, Keylor Navas, all he did was continue to lead this team in, in terms of his performances in Champions League in big moments and making big stops and penalty kick stops and all the things that he was able to do for the club. But then Real Madrid is flirting with everybody else and they didn't get David De Gea, then they got after Thibaut Courtois. If you're, you're Keylor Navas at some point, you said, all right, man, enough is enough. If, if I haven't done enough, I don't know what else I can do because I've given you everything I have. If if there wasn't anybody in the planet who hasn't figured out that it's not the head coach running this team, mm. then the decision, first of all, to try and get the hair while your goalkeeper's winning your Champions Leagues, and then to try and bring in Coutinho while your goalkeeper's making you win Champions Leagues. If anybody thought that it wasn't coming from upstairs, well, this, this tells you exactly what, what Real Madrid's all about. But clearly, they have... Uh, the priorities as to what they should address out on the field are not the things that they're actually addressing in the transfer market. And that's what was happening with Real Madrid. When we sat back and looked at the needs for Real Madrid over the last few seasons, it wasn't goalkeeping that you thought, you know what, that's where they need it. That's where they need some help. There are so many other areas that they could have addressed. They bring in Thibaut Courtois, at that point, Caleb Navas has no choice but to look elsewhere. Seems to be a Real Madrid problem going back a generation. Mm -hmm. yep. OK, so the deal's been done. We've got Navas going to Ligue 1, new league for him. And we've got Ariola going to compete with Courtois to take those gloves at the troubled Bernabeu. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.